I don't know what that is. Anyway, we're just on the edge of the forest. I'm gonna go grab one of these trail cameras. I've been thinking about the golf ball and we're gonna do a little experiment. I've got a colored golf ball and I've got another white one. We're gonna grab a trail camera from over here, put in a new fresh set of batteries and move it up into that clearing. And we're gonna put both of these in the log. I think something thinks these are eggs maybe. I don't know. Raccoon, snake, raven, fox. They will all steal a golf ball occasionally. It's been, it's been documented. Do we have all of those things here? Absolutely. So, maybe something thinks that's an egg. So there is a neighbor's house 300 yards over that way. My house is back, straight back through here. And what I want to show you guys is I've had a trail camera here for a month now and I kind of have made a trail over five years of walking through here and it goes right up there and there's the big rock clearing up there. So logically, if the neighbors were gonna come out, they would come out down that trail and they would go right up my trail up onto the rocks. So I don't think it's them because you would, they would be on the trail camera right here and there was nobody on the trail camera. So if we look at how to get up on this rock, that rock face you're looking at right there is eight feet high. Doesn't look like it on the camera, but it is. And the only place to really get up here, it's kind of a rock wall all the way around, is right here where I walk up. There's a bit of a nice slope right here. And this is, this would be on the trail camera. Now, is it possible somebody could come in from behind? Yeah, absolutely but it wouldn't be my direct neighbors. It would be just somebody out here walking in the middle of nowhere in the woods. All right, let's check and see if that golf ball is back like we requested. I highly, highly doubt it because I'm 95% sure this has got to be an animal, right? You guys know Gary, the mentality of Gary, which is a good mentality to have. Let's be realistic here. Let's figure out what it is stealing my golf balls. Okay, so still empty, nothing in here, which is cool. That's what I wanted to see. Cause yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If the golf ball was back in there, I'd be a little freaked out. <laughs> okay, so here's our two new golf balls. And we're going to place these in here and set up a trail camera. Okay, so we're going to set the white one in the exact spot that the other one was. Right there, it was against this little tab here, whatever that is. And we'll put the yellow one, let's put it up here. There's a bit of a hollow in the moss. We'll set it up there like that. So there's our two new golf balls. So for this experiment, I don't want to put any food in here because we already had a golf ball taken without food. What was it? Let's see if we can get it to reproduce to happen again without putting food. If we put food in here, animals are going to smell it. Animals are going to come to check it out. So if the fox comes to check that out, we're going to say, oh, it was the fox. We don't know that. Let's just start with two golf balls and go from there. Okay, so there's the trail camera set up right there about 10 feet away. Yeah, will a human see it? For sure. But will they be on the camera before they get it down? Yes. And there's our log with our two golf balls in it right there. Okay, so we're gonna leave the camera running, the golf ball set up. The last thing I wanna do is go back down to the rock formation with the leaves on it. Somebody pointed out that I walked right past a strange teepee structure. I think they're right. I didn't even notice it. I was so intent on looking at the ground for these leaf structures. I walked right past it. Let's go take a look. I need you to jump down there and show the folks how steep this is to get off this big rock if we don't go on the trail. One, come on, let's go. You guys see how far down there he is? It doesn't look that far on the camera until you... I'm gonna climb down here, but I'll show you. It's, it's steep, it's taller than I am. 
Slippery too. It's over my head. So it's over my head to get back up there if you if you don't go through the trail. And it's like that all the way around the big rock. So that's why I have that trail camera set over there. That's the only access to get up there. Eh. So yeah, could the teenage kids in the neighborhood climb that? Absolutely. But do teenage kids go in the bush these days? No, they don't. So I'm betting it wasn't the neighbor. I just happened to stumble across this one here. Uh, another stick that snapped off. And it's right beside where we just climbed down there. What is it? I don't know. Why would that snap in half like that? It's pretty sturdy. I don't know. So here's where my skidoo trail comes out of the bush right there. You can kind of see it. And now we're on Tom's trail. And here's one I never noticed before. Right at the exit of my trail, there's one bent over right there. That's the top, that's the top end right there. And it loops down to the ground. Dog tracks, deer tracks, fox tracks maybe, hard to tell. No squatch tracks. Gary tracks. Okay, so this is where we walked in yesterday, and I think I can already see what we walked past. Do you see like a triangle structure right there? Look at that, I never even noticed that. We walked right beside that yesterday. I mean, I don't know, we'll have to go back and check the video footage. The first one where the leaf turned over, was this here? Look at these ends. Okay, no. Totally, totally missed that. And look at the curve on this tree right here. So thank you to whoever the user, the viewer was who pointed that out. Look at this. Totally, look at this four. One, two, Three, four, and look at the way they're all weaved together up here. No friggin' way did they just fall, there's no way they fell like that. Look at this, this cross one here that's going across. Where did that come from? That didn't come from right there because there's a tree right there. This one definitely came from here. This, if I'm not mistaken, right here looks like the top. This looks like the top of this. See where it snapped off right there? That is definitely the same tree. This tree and this tree are the same. This is the top of it. So how did that end up down here? There's no freaking way. I can't believe we missed this. I'm gonna go home and check the footage from day one where those leaves flipped over. We walked right up here. We walked right up here back to Tom's trail. Did I, there's no way I walked past that, I don't think. Was that in the original video? You guys go back and look as well. There is no way that naturally fell like that. There is no way. And look at the curve on this tree. I'm gonna show you guys this tree again. Check this curve out. Look at the curve on that tree. Can you see that big, wow, that big S curve right there? Look at that. Okay, so just moving to the other side here. Yeah, look at this, guys. This stick right here is the end of this sideways stick right there. 
because this didn't come out of the ground here anywhere. And I can tell just from the bark. This tree goes with that tree. This is the end of it. So two of these sticks have been broken in half and this has been placed here like this. That is the strangest structure we have found in a year and a half. I can't explain that. There's no way that's natural. I can't explain that. Come on, Gage. He's back there chewing on it, trying to pull the thing down. Gage, stop chewing on the squatch structure. Get out of, hey, come on, out of there. I'm gonna leave you at home, sit. Hey, hey, no, no. So now all we can do is wait. We're gonna wait another week. I will go back and check the trail cameras in three or four days and make sure that the golf balls are there or not there and check the camera there and we'll report back. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna disagree and say don't put a camera, but hey, if we don't have cameras, we're never gonna know, right? I suspect an animal at this point. I could be wrong. The best proof would be that those two golf balls disappear and there's nothing on the camera. Then we'll have to, we'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to go from there because I won't be able to explain. There are some scenarios that run through my head that I can't explain. Guys, I'm not a 100% believer. You can tell that. I can tell that. I'm still looking for a logical explanation here. That teepee structure back there is not logical to me, so it makes zero sense. And the kids, the kids don't come back here. I know it's not the kids. Oh, that hurt. Good thing I wasn't running the camera. I tripped in the mud hole back there and landed right on my wrist. Ah. I'll live. That hurt. So then I land in the mud hole and then I turn around and there's Gage rolling around in the mud. He thinks it's fun, it's okay now. Dad's in the mud hole, I'm getting in the mud hole. Gotta go home and clean the dog now, jeez.